Hello Indie Game fans, my first experience with a Tactics title was Fire Emblem Secret Stones on GBA and that led me to games like Tactics Ogre, Advanced Wars, Original XCOM and Final Fantasy Tactics. Aside from modern iterations of huge AAA franchises these days, we don't really get that many from big studios but indie developers to the rescue. As such, the top 20 best turn-based tactics indie games begins with Banner of the Maid. An SRPG set in an alternate history version of the French Revolution, but with anime girls, this certainly is an interesting contrast of themes, but somehow it works. While the translation could be better, the basics of the tactical combat really works, and the pixel and sprite art is beautiful as well. The Indiana Jones Simulator Pathway released to a mixed reception initially, but the developers have been working on it, taking into account player feedback and rebalancing and patching the game. They released a significant update late last year, and even added in a hardcore mode in February this year, and is certainly worth another look if you gave up the first time around. Me being me, gorgeous pixel art, so another no-brainer. Speaking of XCOM, while the series is being helmed by Phyrexis these days, Xenonauts is a modernized version that pays tribute to the original, but it is so much more than that and added in relatively modernized tweaks for a game from 2014. If you want a more classic XCOM experience, this one is worth a look, and watch out for Xenonauts 2 in development as well. Scientists have recorded radical changes to the permafrost in Antarctica. The mist contains some sort of organic composite. This Pandora virus is causing horrific mutations. The controversial Phoenix Point is also worth a look. Masterminded by one Julian Gollop, the person attributed to the creation of XCOM, this crowdfunded spiritual successor shares many things in common, but adds in new things like realistic ballistic modeling as well. There are factional politics to play, where allegiance with these unlock new technologies and powers, most interesting of which is the voluntary embrace of the mutation which adds bioorganic weapons to your soldiers. Still, there are issues with this game, but for its significance and place in history, this one is worth checking out. One of the games that I don't see enough people talking about is Ash of God's Redemption, from I believe a primarily European team with quite a unique narrative structure. It follows three characters as they battle against a seemingly unstoppable mythical force known as the Reapers, but at least in one of the campaigns, the story adapts to character deaths and will carry on even if your leads die. There's a meta management layer and overworld exploration, as well as an art style which, while inspired, is still beautiful, so quite the hidden gem to check out if you have not. One title which is as indie as can be is Mortal Glory, a roguelike fantasy gladiator combat title.
don't be fooled by the visuals, the tactical combat in this is fun, with some interesting character classes and playable races to mess around with. A game which billed itself as Fantasy XCOM, Fort Triumph released out of Early Access this year and is a pretty great one of these. While Overwatch and Half and Full Cover can be strange to think about in a fantasy setting, the variety of environmental interactions from pulling and pushing enemies and objects is one of the key features. Additionally, there is a Heroes of Might and Magic style overworld map and exploration, with cities to conquer and upgrade, and quest objectives to complete, so a very solid entry for sure. Little bit of an asterisk with this one, since Warhammer 40,000 Mechanicus does lean on the IP, but developer Bulwark Studios is a relatively small team, so it counts in my book. Play as the Adeptus Mechanicus, tech priests who worship the Omnisire or the Machine God and looks to replace their own weak flesh with the strength of steel. As such, the upgrade options in this game are very interesting, slowly turning your heroes into beings that are more machine than human, where your clash is primarily against the Necrons this time. A simple plan. First, the key from the manager. Second, the safe. There was a catch, however. Demons. <laughs> Another title which more people should play, Hard West is a tactics title set in the Weird West, basically the Old West plus demons, magic and supernatural elements. Play as men betrayed and left for dead, strengthened by supernatural chaos as he seeks cold hard revenge. Stylish setting and interesting powers makes this worth a play. Unending War. A powerful, unbridled AI network. The shadows of a machine army. Bloody conflicts over the cursed lost tech artifacts. And now, a new battleground awaits. One title that promised the return of Advance Wars was 2017's Tiny Metal, with it being followed up with Full Metal Rumble in 2019. From a small team in Japan, this nails what they are going for, even though I wish they stuck with the pixel art. Regardless, nice looking unit designs and more of that tactical goodness. The ancient bloodline. Protect your loved ones. Lead the future of the human race. All units. Battle stations. In a broken world, danger does not wait its turn. Except it does. It's turn based. Join Rogue Captain Piper Faraday and face the challenges of the vast frontier. With free aiming instead of dice rolls, your skill makes all the difference. Now for a little bit of a surprise. Developer Image and Form have done an excellent job with the SteamWorld franchise, with SteamWorld Heist being a unique, side-scrolling, turn-based tactics title. While most of these other games have units on the grid, you instead position your units manually here, climbing ladders, crouching behind crates and such, and have to manually aim your shot, which adds in an element of skill. A departure from the rest of these titles, but still worth a play nonetheless. Things will explode! Turn up the steam for the heist of the century! The most recently launched title on this list is Fate Tactics, and yes, it is that good. In a world where humans and fey creatures coexist together, adventure across a vibrant world where the story begins with a seemingly innocuous quest. 
It does have the subtitle, The Girl Who Destroyed the World, so keep that in mind, but wonderful tactical combat taking into account elemental affinity, positioning, elevation, buffs, combo attacks, and so on. It even has an element of summoning creatures that you defeat, with an impressive leveling system and tactical options. It was an ambush. You were left in command now, with what few men remain. Any list covering tactics games would be incomplete without Battle Brothers, a sandbox medieval mercenary company simulator where you decide what to do in the open world campaign. We've done it before, and we'll do it again. We'll make the company known throughout the land. The sheer number of units, equipment to manage, upgrade options and so on can be a little overwhelming at first, but if you wrap your head around this, it is one of the best in the genre. Of course, the Banner Saga trilogy will have a place on this list since it carried the torch for the genre for quite a long time, with the first game releasing in 2014 and the final chapter in 2018. An epic story of struggle and mythical monsters, on top of the beautiful hand-drawn art and animation, the heartbreaking decisions and narrative choices are a draw as well, but a trilogy of games that is a must-play for fans of the genre. All One game which I'm very high on is 2018's Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden. This tactics title, set in the world of anthropomorphic animal mutants, is intriguing since you have freeform exploration of the environment prior to engaging enemies and can even get to jump on them by coordinating an ambush. Your party members can also evolve and mutate as they level, gaining new abilities in the process. It's pretty brutal in terms of difficulty, with a real emphasis on stealth and setup, and if you completed it at launch, there's an expansion titled Seed of Evil with a new character to check out. Hey, I'm up for the task. Speaking of Advanced Wars, Wargroove completely nails bringing that series back, at least in the spiritual sense, with, thankfully, some awesome pixel art. I love the variety of the units from airborne dragons, fishmen, witches, harpies and more, and with 4 factions and an epic story campaign, there's plenty of variety. A free DLC titled Double Trouble was released earlier this year, adding new heroes, new units, a new co-op campaign and more, so certainly do go back. <laughs> Another very indie title, Horizons Gate is a tactics RPG by developer Red Codex, well known in the indie space due to his other titles Void Spire Tactics and Elvora Tactics. What I love the most here is the non-generic fantasy setting, so no elves, orcs or goblins here, and with 8 playable races, 34 classes, 150 plus active abilities, and 100 plus passive ones, there's plenty of strategizing to go around, so do give this a look. One of the best titles to come along recently is Fell Seal Arbiter's Mark, one which shares elements with Final Fantasy tactics but does have its own unique cast and story. Play as an Arbiter, basically the world police, who discovers a growing corruption within the organization and has to root it out. In-depth class system and awesome pixel art makes this one yet another no-brainer. 
Also, it launched the Missions and Monsters paid DLC in June, so even more content to check out if you love the game. A grossly overlooked title is Skulls of the Shogun, where you play as a samurai, betrayed and murdered, who then has to navigate the afterlife, rallying troops and getting your revenge. The lack of a grid is a very refreshing aspect, but plenty of strategizing and positioning required as well, since units can get pushed off cliffs. There's also an interesting upgrade system. From consuming the skulls of your enemies, the rock paper scissors counters of unit types, resource nodes to capture and more, with a wonderful theme and art to go along with it. Into the Breach was a revelation in 2018, since rather than obscuring enemy attacks and leaving things up to random chance, damage ranges or percentage hit chances, this game laid everything out in front of you. Play as time-travelling mechs, sent to stop the alien threat of the back, essentially kaiju monsters, as you defend humanity from them. Since enemy intent is showcased, you can pull, push and manipulate them into missing attacks, hitting each other and so forth, making you feel like the smartest person in the room when it works. Awesome variety of mechs to mix and match, with an upgrade system that keeps things very interesting, so for just being fantastic, it takes the number one spot. To see more of the big picture, check out these awesome videos and I will see you after the jump.